Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are in front of the Stephen King shelves, so of course that means it's a Stephen King themed review. Kinda, it's a Richard Bachman. Uh, today we are talking about Blaze, which is the final Richard Bachman novel. Uh, it was published uh, in, I actually don't know when it was published. Give me a second, let me look this up. Let me look back here and way back and way back. Alright, it's published in 2007, um, but it was originally written in, between 1966 and 1973, at least that's what it says in the introduction. Um, it also says in the introduction that it was a, uh, a trunk novel, um, that he didn't like it, he didn't think it was good enough for publication, so he put it in a box. He thought he lost it, and he ended up coming back and finding it again, or his, his, his assistant found it for him, I'm not sure which, but uh, yeah, so it's a trunk novel, all that stuff. This is going to be a spoiler-free review. Uh, if you want a spoiler discussion, I have one in the making. Well, not in the making. I'm going to uh, record one and get that one up. But this one, rest assured that I won't spoil anything for you. The first time that I, uh, it, the, the first time that I read this book, I absolutely hated it. Uh, several reasons why. It's kind of a tribute or ode or Stephen King's riff on uh, of Mice and Men. And I think Steinbeck's novella is a perfect experience. Uh, it doesn't overstay its welcome. It's just a perfect book, in my opinion. I mean, in this one, the uh, the dumb ones, uh, the the, I guess the the not, not he's not really mentally challenged as much as he's slow. Uh, his friend's named George. Uh, you can't get any more obvious than that. I'm not a big fan of literary reboots. Uh, same reason I didn't like Paul Tremblay's Head Full of Ghosts. Uh, it, the same reason I didn't like this the first time I read it. This time I read it, I, I adored it. I liked it a lot. The only reason I didn't give it a full five stars is because there are some plot holes. There are some conveniences that I had a problem swallowing, uh, even though I did know where the book was going. Um, but the, nowhere, I, I was nowhere near hating this, this book. Um, there's a lot of great character writing. There, there is some stuff that King has reused over and over again in his career. Um, nowhere near as bad as like a, let's say, a, like a Dean Koontz, you know, re having a dog in every single book. But there are certain characters that he, that he's reused, certain phrases that you're going to find. Um, it's just kind of like Stephen King's signature kind of, kind of deal. Uh, but with, with this one, I, I found myself wanting to continue reading and never, never wanting to put it down. Whereas the first time I read it, I, I had a problem even finishing it. You know, even getting halfway through it, I recall, uh, was a big, big issue for me. This time, I blew right through it. I had uh, the goal, and the reason why you're getting this video as soon as you are, I had a goal of only, uh, I think, 30 pages a day, and that would have put me right at about 11 days, um, because the book's 340 pages long, so 330 pages, 340 pages, is about a, roughly 11 days. So... Um, but I ended up reading it in only five because I blew through the last hundred pages. Um, I would give it a chance, if you are a Stephen King completionist, I would at least give it a chance. Like I said, I didn't like it the first time around, but also most Stephen King fans who read this book don't like this book. Um, it was also around the time we had, uh, I think, I don't know, what is it, uh, Duma Key, Lisey Story, all that stuff. And people had started to get upset with King because he was no longer writing horror. I don't think he was ever a horror writer. He was just a storyteller. It, and he's, a, he's a literary novelist that leans to the horror side, that leans to the dark side. Um, I don't think he's general fiction. I don't think he's speculative fiction. Well, he is. He's all those things, really. But I, he's far more to the literary side because he actually gives a damn about theme and character and all that stuff. But you're going to find all that in here, you're just not going to find the horror. And I think that's what stu that what really pumps the brakes for a lot of people is that the fact that there isn't too much going on. There's really only two big scenes in here, and I, I don't want to spoil them here. We'll talk about them in the spoiler discussion, but there's only really those two scenes and not much else going on, so you really have to have strong characters to carry the book, and I think this book does. So I'm giving it four stars out of five. The only reason I'm knocking that one off at the end, that last star, is because there were some plot conveniences that I thought were a little too convenient. Um, but 
that that's the only thing that kept me from absolutely loving you know this book and saying that it, you know it's one of his his best uh it's the same way with Cal with Mr. Mercedes that book has problems but i had so much fun reading it i ended up giving that one 5 stars but the uh, conveniences were a little too much for me in this one so i'm going to give it 4 have you read blaze what did you think let me know down there in the comments below but until next time i have been e you have been you this has been another stephen king book review i'll talk to you guys later bye bye